As if I wasn't stressed out enough, it is trade deadline week. I have been around the clock busy. They put out moments extreme. I'm still trying to get team affinity done. And on top of that, we have some brand new diamond duos who are actually pretty cracked. We're going to go ahead and debut the brand new 99 Justin Morneau and the 99 no hitter version of Joe Musgrove. I'll go ahead and show the brand new Griffey and everything in just a second. But for right now, let's focus on Morneau, who across the board offensively actually looks pretty good. He's got the maxed out power and maxed out clutch. And then Joe Musgrove is straight out of your nightmare from last night. He's got 110 stamina, 120 hits per nine. He does have 99 break. And also I do have to show this. Yes. He has a cutter and sinker. We're going to debut both of those guys right now. And as we are searching for a game, I'm going to go ahead and show these stats of 99 Cattell Marte. This guy is going to be an absolute savage. 99 Billy the Kid, a.k.a. 99 Billy Wagner. He looks really good. Mike Piazza, he is the third reward you get in Moments Extreme. That's probably the best Mike Piazza we've ever gotten. 99 perfect game. Matt Kane. Yes, he has a sinker as well. And last but not least, 99 Ken Griffey Jr. with the backwards hat. He is your Moments Extreme final boss reward thing and he looks insane here we go 99 no hitter joe musgrove against 99 john donaldson and one of the greatest god squads i've ever seen in the history of mlb the show oh my god i forgot to mention that i also picked up this 99 dylan cruz to be my center fielder today and this dude looks crazy there we go i told you dylan cruz is gonna be an absolute cheat code for the squad that's gonna be a leadoff double off a dotted fastball inside Okay, Justin Morneau, in his debut, he's going to do his job. He advanced the runner. I have no problem with that. That's a good out. And then that is going to be a productive out. I'm out of here. No, it isn't, because I just got hosed at home plate on a ball that I should have scored on. It didn't give me the right slide animation. I wanted him to go head first around the catcher. I mean, I, I need that to go. I need... Mickey Mantle picks up his team. I mean, I keep calling him Mickey Mantle. Technically, he's still the Commerce Comet, but that is a two-run home run off of the dreaded John Donaldson. Let's go. I needed that. Another guy I completely forgot to mention who is making his Diamond Dynasty debut, the 99 Jock Peterson with maxed out clutch and power just like Morneau. And that is a strikeout. John Donaldson just, uh, okay, we're not going to talk about that. There we go. <laughs> Yo, by the way, Alan Trammell is an absolute god in this game, so try him out, but Joe Musgrove already looks insane. Now, I've only thrown one pitch, so I can't really say much. I've thrown two pitches and gotten two outs. Let's make it a three-pitch inning. And I throw a ball. Am I actually stupid? That's my fault. All right, well... If I would have thrown that on the pitch previously, that would have been a three-pitch inning. I'm telling you, Joe Musgrove right now could be one of the best five pitchers in the game already. Jeter up the middle. Derek Jeter. Who is that? Is that Jose Ramirez? I got to start grinding Team Infinity more because I need the, that Rutschman, the Ronald Acuna, and the 99 J-Ram. Yeah, you cannot throw a one... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did his... I'm, I'm not going to go to second base because that's going to be stupid. He probably would have hosed me. Yeah, but how did I just turn on a 103 fastball with a lefty? I tried to tell you. Alan Trammell is a god. Okay, not on that swing, but that was my fault. That's a bad PCI placement. Um, are we sure that John Donaldson is actually all that good? Randy, he cannot make that play. No, if that hit the top of the fence, I would have scored a run instead. I got to try and I'm not going to swing at that. And I got underneath. Wait, that might carry. <laughs> Yo, what? What was that? In Dylan Cruz's debut, he's got a double. He's got a three run home run the other way. And he hit that three run home run 91 miles an hour. And then Morneau. Morneau is going to get absolutely hosed by the game. That's an out, but the one with Dylan Cruz is a three-run home run. Baseball. Never easy facing Chipper Jones. That is going to be a can of corn. Joe Musgrove has set down four in a row. Let me knock on wood so I don't jinx it. There we go. Alan Trammell. He is a diamond defender even at his secondary position. That's five in a row. I thought that was going to be the first base hit. I straight up thought Jock Peterson just broke the no-hitter and perfect game with a double through the gap, but yeah, Jeter caught it. You got to be you got to be absolutely joking. There's no way he just quit. Are you joking right now? I'm going to go ahead and just quit out of two games real quick so I can get Joe Musgrove's energy back because that's really frustrating. So after one quit, I was able to get Joe Musgrove back up to half energy. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave him in and then we'll stack on those two perfect innings from the game before. 
Okay, Dylan Cruz, unfortunately not starting off like we did in the last game where we were halfway to a cycle after like 20 seconds. Justin Morneau, Justin Morneau the other way. I know I completely missed that, but he does have the 125 power and he did not eat his Wheaties. And that is a one, two, three inning for my opponent. So this game is gonna be much closer than game number one. There we go, I'm telling you. The sinker from Joe Musgrove might be the most unhittable pitch in the game. That is what, what, dating back to the last game, eight consecutive outs made by Musgrove and make that nine consecutive outs for Joe Musgrove. That is three perfect innings. I should not be swinging at that. I had a three ball count and I just swung at ball four. I just wanna show you guys something. So right before the game started, this guy tried to send a friendly quit and I declined it. And ever since that point, he's been doing this every single pitch. He takes about four to five seconds between pitches to make something happen. So one, two, three, four. Like he's just being a big baby and I'm gonna make him pay for it. Then again, I'm very impatient and I could be overreacting, but it seems like he's just pouting right now. Here we go again, three, four, presses, pause, comes back immediately. I mean, this guy is pulling out all the tricks and I wanna tee off so bad. Don't you dare. Ah, he really needed that to drop. That would have been clutch. And I missed it. I missed it with Brady. I needed that to go for an oppo taco and I just straight up missed it. All right, no big deal. We have the 99 Musgrove still on the bump. So we, uh, we should be all right. I mean, I get it. I get it. When you're bad at the game, you want free Ws. You don't want to face good opponents like me. And that should have not been. They, they gave him a foul ball on that horrific swing. Maybe the worst swing I've ever seen. There you go. That is strike three. That's what? 11 up, 11 down from Musgrove. He took one swing with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Said, I'm good with that. And then brings in Jock Peterson. Okay. And there it is. There it is. The very first hit. So it was a smart idea to go to Jock Peterson. And I did a terrible job of locating that entire at bat. So I deserve that. And he just took a sinker directly down the middle. Okay. All right. I... Alan Trammell. I know he threw that pretty much directly down the middle. How far did we just hit that thing? He only has 80 something power, but his swing path 430 feet off of John Donaldson. Five, six, seven, eight. And then he steps off. No way we're doing this. All right, you guys know what my opponent is doing. I don't have to talk about it every other second. So just know my opponent is playing toxic and like a big fat baby, but it's fine. That's not gonna do anything. I am, I'm actually missing these pitches pretty badly. Okay, that, I gotta go the other. I guess I don't because this guy has really no idea what is going on or he's playing like a goober. I'm gonna go to second base. <laughs> I think I can get there. <laughs> that should have been an out regardless. He dove way too early, so I don't mind running into that out. That's beautiful. He was not expecting to cut her inside because, or cut her outside because I've been spamming it inside. Perfect pitch. One more good cutter. All right, right, he was able to foul it off. I think I'm going to go sinker in, and we are now in yellow energy for Joe Musgrove, which is very sad. He's still dicing this kid up. And that'll be three basically perfect innings on top of the two perfect innings that we threw in the first game. I'm going to try and go one more because I do not want to lose this game, but he's almost out of energy, and it's not my fault. Okay, I, he's been spamming everything down in the zone at my knees, so I tried to set up down. It was a good idea, but way too low. And uh, he threw two fastballs up in the zone. He completely read my playbook and then threw me a fork ball at my kneecaps. Okay, that was amazing sequencing from him. Uh, and then he goes to step off. All right, here we go. Let's see. It's a 3-2 count. Jack Peterson, he's up at the dish. I feel like he might go fastball in. Yep. I mean, it wasn't completely in, but Jack Peterson goes lefty, lefty over the batter's eye in center field. I'm going to go ahead and hit the replay just because he's been taking his sweet time. I'm going to go ahead and take my sweet time. Jack Peterson, dude rakes. Okay, maybe that was a terrible idea because he's now taking even longer. And there's another base hit. Oh, wait. Ellie De La Cruz almost stopped that. He did stop it, but he almost caught it. And I, I the exact... Same swing for Grady as I had his first at bat. I just dropped it. I gotta go. Ah, never mind. All right, here we go. Bottom of the fourth. Probably Joe Musgrove's final inning because he's almost out of energy. Um, I mean, 
That really helps. Nice. Oh, wait. What am I saying? Nice. Alan Trammell. He's got his pitchers back. Two down in the fourth. Nice. That has to be a strikeout. Come on. Joe Musgrove is so good. He's allowed one hit through six innings against two pretty decent opponents. Like, this guy is not bad. He's just playing weird. Allen, why don't more people use this card? He's so good. And <laughs> he, he tried to do it again and bait me. I'm not going to fall for it that time. And that is going to be a just a blooper to Juan Soto for one out. I'm going to have to try and unlock that Ali Rutschman pretty soon because I'm not very good with Joe Maurer and I'm facing lefties a lot. That, that ball was pieced up. That ball's pieced up. He's not catching that. I, I knew it. The game. The game. There's karma in MLB The Show. You missed that because you've been playing. I told myself I was not going to bring up my toxic opponent anymore. And I'm just going to stop. Um, that, that's going to score a run. I, I, Justin Morneau has an RBI. I don't care what just happened. Even though we kind of got robbed. That was basically a perfect hit. I want to take a look at that one more time. Yeah, that was actually a really good swing on my behalf. But it's just an RBI ground out. And I'm not swinging at that. Get up the middle. Get up the middle. No, Ellie David Cruz, he's going to try and be... What was that? So he intentionally walks Commerce Comet to get to Jock Peterson, who has a home run and a single already. Oh, okay. 3-2 count. Everyone is moving. I don't know if he's going to go slurve, slider, fastball. I have no idea. He's going to walk me. This guy stinks. And then there's a little quick pitch throwing a outlier... Slider, this guy is going to pull out every single trick in the book to try and squeak past with a victory or something. Yeah, take your time. Here we go. Mm! I needed that to stay fair. Nope, nope. Another 3-2 count. Runners are moving again. I cannot believe that I actually just took that pitch. Here we go. Another walk. I repeat, this guy stinks. Oh, and then Grady. Grady is going to pour salt directly into the wound. This guy is probably quitting. I'm going to get this free inside the park home run, or at the very least, a triple with Grady Sizemore. Um, okay. Um, 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 I, I, I guess I'll go home. I, I guess I will try and go home. Yeah, that's an inside the park home run with Grady Sizemore. I tip my cap. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to say anything about Alan Trammell because that was a fastball directly down the middle. And you know what? He's insane. That's all I'll say. Okay, you know what? I, I shouldn't have sw swung at that. Is he going to make the play? Wow, he actually makes the play. Good for him. All right, so the mercy ruled is being warned for both squads. Should I go one more inning with Joe? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Actually, you know what? I just really want this game to be over with. So I'm going to bring in someone else. Uh, I, Joe Musgrove was ultra impressive, though. Go use that card. Oh, that's a home run. Okay. Um, let's not throw hanging sliders directly down the middle. Can we not do that, please? Oh, yes. That was... I just tunneled that pitch so well. One out. Is he really trying to... He's trying to steal against Joe Maurer? And he tried to go to third base. What was that? What is this guy doing? And... Pfft. We win in dominant fashion. Good thing that we played a second game. Because Joe Musgrove, he shredded yet again. And also... We just mercy rolled a kid who was being ultra toxic. Player of the game is Alan Trammell, not Joe Musgrove. We were the 30th person to get Joe Musgrove to parallel one. How are we so late? I thought I was going to be number one. So I'm probably going to sell more. No, he's a really cool card. I love the card art. The fact that he's holding the trophy. Remember, he beat Josh Hamilton in Yankee Stadium. But I'm definitely going to sell him because I like other first basemen just a little bit better. But this Joe Musgrove card, nah, he's staying with me.